in this section we want to create a simple horse race game so that you can bet on one of these horses and if your horse reaches this line first you you win um, the thing is we want to just create those horses before so we just create empty objects of the five horses they do nothing you just need to set them to through you can set them to stepping if you like so this they just feel more like they are living things and not just staying around so so we create horse 1 to 5 and we also create a bookmarker a uh, bookmaker so a guy where you can place your bet so you talk to him set a bet on a on a certain horse and if it wins you get money so the system will work like that that every every horse has a chance of moving forward so let's say we generate a random number between 0 and 10 and this horse moves if one number is right so he has like if it's if the random number is one this horse moves if the random number is two and three this horse moves is the random number four five and six this horse moves if it's seven eight and nine this half horse moves and so on so that every horse this has this horse has the lowest numbers that can be randomly so if a n random number is generated this horse has the lowest chance of getting one of these numbers because it's only one one number that make this horse move so this horse only has the one this has two numbers this three this four and this has five so that would mean that in most cases this horse will win so this is the favorite so we can simply so we set up this and now we need to set up a border a finish line for our horses this will be that also set to through so we know when we will code it like that that we do what we already did before so we create a border which goes all this way down so if one of those horses reaches that border it will automatically end the race and give us our money or not so this is the first thing but we start with the coordinates as always so we what do we need we see those five horses they won't move up and down so the only thing we need is their x coordinate so we can check if they moved on this line if they move from left to right and if they move to this point the race is done so we only need a bunch of x coordinates so we do it so first what we should do is set it to a parallel process set it to through so no one so it will not block anyone and now we can control those variables we don't need the hero ones so here we can create horse 1 x horse 2 x horse 4 3 x 
and so on horse four x and horse five x and also we need or we can also use from I will use this border x because I need I already created it before in another on another map but I can use this here so we s set first the horse the horse 1x will be set to the x coordinate of horse 1 after that we go on and do it for every other horse too so horse 2x to horse 2x or we can do multiple of these so horse this is horse 3 so horse 3x to horse 3 horse 4 x to horse 4 and horse 5 x to horse 5 x so the last variable we need is the border x which will be set to the finish line x coordinate so now we got we got all of these and now we need to think of the horse movement so we're gonna do it we can do it here so we do a conditional branch actually we can we need to think about it so we already got the coordinates so now we need to make to decide which horse will run and to do this we make it simple we just need a variable which will be random between 0 and I take 74 75 it will be stored in horse random number you can call it whatever you like but I'll just keep it like that and it's okay so this will pick us a random number between 0 and 75 and after that you can check for it so if this if this variable is greater greater or equal to 0 mm, then we will check another one if the variable random number this, this time we need an else branch if this random number is smaller than 5 smaller and equal to 5 so basically what we do here now is we get the random number between 0 and 74 and if it's greater and if it's nil if it's 0 or greater and if it's smaller than smaller and equal to 5 then this will happen and this is the case for the slowest horse so he has only like five or <laughs> it's six because it's zero one two three four five so he has only six 
of seven um, let's see random number between zero and so it goes from one to seventy four I guess so if this number reaches this random number reach from 0 to 5 but it can so we can change it to 1 because it's between 0 and 74 so it means that the, f the first pos possible number is 1 in this scenario so and this is so this is the lowest possibility it's only five. There's only five out of uh, <laughs> about tw seventy-five chances. So it's pretty low. Um, so in this case, we need to move. Horse one to the right. So. Wait for completion. It's okay. So what we're gonna see now? If so, in another case, we do we ask we simply do the the second horse, which would mean if this is not given, if it's n n not in this area, you're gonna go on and change this to about 15. So if it's between 5 and 15 horse 2 should move. That means that the chance that horse 2 is moving is way higher than the chance that horse 1 is moving. Because these are only 5 five possible numbers out of this 75 which could be triggering this event here in this case from t 5 to 15 it's 10 steps so it's 10 <laughs> I don't know how to say it but um, it's about 10 the chance is almost doubled in this case so this is this goes from 0 to 5 and this goes from 5 or from 6 to 15 so that means this has a f way higher chance of getting getting chosen by the random number generator here and we go on and do it for the next horse and this we can change to about 30 so again the number rises so the difference between 13 and 15 is 15 and so the difference oh, again rises by 5 so here it was like between this and that it's like 10 numbers between this and that 15 numbers that get that could get chosen so this horse again has a higher chance of getting getting picked by the random numbers so we go on and do it for 4 and 5 so here we're gonna choose 50 and horse 4 and in this case we're gonna choose the, the limit, the end it's like 75 and we don't need an else branch so if, if it's between 15 and 75 so from out of these 75, num 75 numbers this last horse 
has all numbers between 50 and 74. So there are 25 numbers which could trigger this horse. 5. 25 numbers out of 75 compared to like 1 to 3 com compared to 5 numbers. So the first horse got like 5 numbers out of this 75 and the last the, the fastest horse got 25 numbers out of this 75. So the possibility that this horse will, will run is way higher. It's like five times higher than this. So just let you know. Now we could play it and look how it looks. So as you can, you should see now that the of course it's random and the the first first horse could win the race but it's unlikely. So let's see. Look how they move. The bottom horses should be always something around here. I wish should always be the fastest. Or they have the highest possibility of being the fastest. So now we want to end the game when one of these horses reach the end. And this is what we're gonna do in the next section.